We head to a garage in Bologna, Italy. Well, what was once a garage anyway. That was until architect Francesco Ceccarelli got his hands on it and transformed it into a spacious modern home. We were so impressed with the renovation. From the outside, this building doesn't look particularly special. Ciao. Welcome to my house. Come follow me. Francesco Ceccarelli lives at the back, where you'd usually expect to find the garage. Here's my house. Francesco shares this completely open plan apartment with his wife. The architect and his team came across the apartment in 2012, when it looked very different. It was a dilapidated garage used as a storage space. This space was a garage, so it was very sustainable in economic terms. And we immediately see the potentiality, so the aesthetic part, the uh, impressive part. And then we start to meld in, mixing it together in order to find the right solution in functional terms for this house. The first challenge was to open it up to daylight. The doors were replaced with French windows that open onto a terrace. Plants and greenery helped to blur the boundary between inside and out. The view onto a park adds to the sense of spaciousness. There was no need to install a heating system. The pipes on the ceiling provide warmth from the apartment block. We try to maintain this industrial atmosphere, industrial identity, uh, while maintaining this open space, as you can see, and concentrating the main services uh, in the middle, in this black box. Inside the black box is the bathroom and a Turkish bath. It's a feature that gives the room structure while replacing walls. So everything in here uh, speaks about geometry, about lines, surfaces, volumes, uh, black lines on white surfaces, black boxes on white boxes. So we choose to put this big black box inside these houses in order to modulate this open space, in order to modulate the, the flowing space from kitchen to living room to uh, bedroom, etc. The bedroom is up some steps on top of the box. It overlooks the kitchen. The bed is just a mattress on the floor, which is fine by Francesco. Why have to to sleep in a simple room, two meter and seventy high? I can clearly sleep here, like I am in a tent, like I'm in in a camping or something like that. Uh, sleeping is sleeping, and then I make everything else downstairs. Here Francesco holds meetings. There's plenty of room. The huge wooden table is custom made, as are the kitchen fittings and the guest bathroom. The sink is made of concrete slabs, origami-like. The aesthetic is pared down and understated. The idea is to hide all the cows that a house makes during its living life uh, in order to have empty spaces, spaces freely to flow and to for other functional. So every all the stocking is over there. Uh, the plexiglass go this uh, sort of a static atmosphere, of course, but on the back side there are there's the entropia of the house. Okay. Francesco's garage house is a work in progress. He's planning a second black box to allow for extensions. The apartment comprises just 90 square meters, but that's more than enough for him and his wife. In uh, Italian, I, I live, um, speaks io abito, and abito in Italian means also dress. So the idea to live 
like a dress, so a house that really fits you, like a perfect tailor-made dress, uh, for us is uh, the main goal. Francesco Ceccarelli has created a home that's snug and stylish, practical and affordable. Living in a garage sounds like it would be scruffy, but not in this one here in Bologna.